on, this is Carlos St. Joss, licensed acupuncturist, hanging out with my heat lamp here, as you can see. <laughs> One of the tools I use here in the clinic. How's it going? <laughs> I just wanted to talk briefly about uh, a article that I found, posted on my Facebook page, and it briefly, uh, let me tell you the title of the article here. It is Integrated treatment of Western and traditional Chinese medicine helped most COVID-19 patients recover. And uh, this article is uh, takes into account a couple things. Uh, let me see. It's according to, they spoke to the National Health Commission in China and they also spoke with uh, the deputy of the head of the National Administration of Traditional Chinese Medicine, right? So two valid sources, and I should say two sources with um, some validity, right? Um, heading these organizations and things of that nature. I, so just to run, give you some stats here, I know I'm, I'm running on. So according to the official data, traditional Chinese medicine has been used in the treatment of 74,603 confirmed COVID-19 cases nationwide, right? And accounting for 92.5% of the total treatment, right? Of the total, right? And so... That is a lot, right? Especially in, in this article, Once, let me date this article for you. This is actually a very recent article. I'm recording this video as of March 10th, 2020. And this article, if I can find it here, I'm gonna post a link to it on the uh, bottom here, but uh, I'll, I'll get you the date here. But uh, let me see. With a uh, total combined cases of 80,735. Reading these numbers so you can understand that. I'm not just pulling this out of my hat, right? Just, no, no. I think what I found a little bit disturbing is that, once again, you see in certain media outlets, they use the word claims and, like, like, like Chinese medicine hasn't already been integrated into their system. And that... Uh, it's just some foo-foo stuff and no Ch uh, China has been using integrated medicine for a long time and have been and has been studying it and you know uh, you see it on on the uh, more on the bioscience end you don't you don't just discard something it, it, you know you saying that this medicine has no validity without you having any evidence is 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 dogmatic it's 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 uh you know it's wrong it's you know, it's hypocritical, right, to say something doesn't work and then you don't have the evidence, right? When Chinese medicine has had thousands of uh, years of empirical uh, evidence, right, and, and it's an evidence-based medicine that they've been studying, and, okay, true, we don't have, right, there's not a, um, you know, a cure, right, for the COVID-19, there's not a set protocol, but... In order to understand, and I posted this on my Facebook page, the CDC has no treatment guidelines for COVID-19. It's just treating the symptoms. And, you know, that's where the traditional Chinese medicine really does come in because it can help with treating those symptoms that may be associated in helping the recovery. Uh, you know, someone here in the U.S. presents pneumonia-like symptoms Immediately, even if there wasn't a COVID-19, we would refer them to seek uh, urgent care uh, or uh, to uh, the emergency room, right? Because it's a serious matter and uh, we, don't, we don't treat in that avenue here. We can, we can be integrated. It can be something where we can integrate both Western and Eastern. But, you know, just looking at the preparedness level, looking at the what where people looking at where we need education looking at dispelling some of the misinformation the myths a couple conspiracy theories here once again i shot a video saying that hey there's no conspiracy here i like conspiracy i, I do a lot of research conspiracy but there's no conspiracy here it's just a virus that is attacks you a lot faster and, and does more damage 
and has a higher uh, mortality rate than your normal flu. And looking at the data, I was looking at the data myself, you can see how many people are being infected and that rate is growing. Or seeing how it's, how, you know, going from one to two to four to how things multiply, right? That, that's math, that's nature.